Good morning. I'm Master Sergeant Julie Lintz, and I'm the Readiness NCOIC over at the Eglin Airmen and Family Readiness Center. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Emergency Family Assistance Center, also known as the EFAC, and a little bit of the process of what Airmen and Family Readiness does with the AFPAS. So here's some information that I'm going to give talk about, about the who, what, where, how, about the EFACT and what it does and when it's activated. So this is just a little bit of the information I'm going to go over and cover. So the whole goal of the EFACT that we provide over at the Airmen and Family Readiness Center is to develop exercise to help. So it's a place, a one-stop shop that we can create a location for our military and our family members that can come to get some family assistance, uh, any emergency assistance that they might need help with, or even counseling. So that's what we do there, and that's the goal and purpose of the EFACT. So the EFACT, the reason that we will have that is if there's any emergencies that come up that are either such as the hurricanes that happened, and we have tornadoes that might come through if something like that, a chemical biological warfare. So this is not an all-inclusive list of things, but even an active shooter. There's a range of things that we try to kind of keep a, in mind and prepared for over at Airman Family Readings to see what are the needs of our family members and military members that we can be able to provide them and assist them um, that we can have there at the center. So that's just some of the reasons. So the activation is going to come upon once emergency management plan, once they get their checklist started and setting up, um, whatever the emergency or the assistance that's going to happen on base, uh, then they will go ahead and have something on their checklist that will say the installation commander, if he wanted to, can initiate the activation of the EFAC. So it's not just the EFAC is going to come into existence whenever an emergency happens, it's at the activation of the wing commander. So the EFAC team, so what we consist of, of at the EFAC, we're going to have a plethora of information of individuals and their expertise there. So we'll have mental health if there's some counseling assistance needed, um, such as when we had Hurricane Michael, we had a lot of our staff members come in and take care for emergency aid for financial assistance. And the medical group, if we had any questions about medical, so finance sometimes will be a, a member that we can have there to ask about questions when we had contacts of calls coming in as far as like, hey, will my per diem cover for this um, cost if I stay at this location when the hurricane happens or whatever the emergency might be. So our EFAC team is actually changes in and out depending on what the emergency is. We try to be flexible on what it is we can. So we work with a lot of the agencies on base to just come out and um, support and have us to be able to help our family members to, like I say, come in to be that one-stop shop where if someone needs assistance during the emergency that's happened that they need to get um, some assistance after the fact. So once the EFACT is activated, the primary location of where the EFACT will be held is over at the Airmen and Family Readiness Center, over at Building 205. And then our alternate location, if something should happen to Airmen and Family Readiness, then we will go over to the Youth Center. And again, it's all going to be dependent again what the emergency is, because if something happens to the whole base where after the recovery stage, then we have to probably look at our off-base locations. So just know, though, the primary location will be at the Airmen and Family Readiness Center. And then once that EFACT is activated, um, it will become 24 hours. Again, like I said, upon General Kane making the order to say he wants to activate the EFACT, then we'll go ahead and put the schedule to work 24 hours there. And then it's open to all of Team Eglin. Like I said, family members and their uh, military members can come there for a wealth of information and assistance that they might need. So when this EFACT is activated, we will have AFPAS. And the AFPAS lets us know uh, safe locations of where folks are after the incident has happened. So like when Hurricane Michael happened, we had individuals go ahead and log into AFPAS. And that's where they were assigned to a caseworker over at Airmen and Family Readiness Center. And we were able to contact the member, letting us know where their self-location was and answer the questions that they might have. So some of the members, when they're gone, and AFPAS, you can put, you need assistance with medical assistance, you're needing to say, find out where pharmacy is, how to get some medications, um, or a medical doctor that's closest to you. So we become a caseworker over at Airman and Family Readiness Center, and we contact the members per that AFPAS case given to us. So that's one thing that we will provide there. So for more information, just contact us over at Airmen and Family Readiness at 882-9060, and thank you.